Jose Antonio Dominguez Banderas, born August 10, 1960, professionally known as Antonio Banderas, is a Spanish actor, singer, film producer and director. He is the recipient of numerous awards, including the Cannes Award for Best Actor and nominations for the Tony Award, the Academy Award, two Primetime Emmy Awards and five Golden Globe Awards. Films should be for everybody. I divide my time badly. People are not patient anymore. We're living in hard times. I suppose that I am ambitious. Expectation is the mother of all frustration. Cinema has opened a world of possibilities up for me. I like going everywhere and I love starting new things. When I do a political movie, I do a political movie. I get caught up in my bubble of reading, writing, or music. I couldn't be with someone who is depressed all the time. I've always been an optimistic guy, to tell you the truth. I think the worst enemy for success is the anxiousness to get it. Characters don't belong to anyone, not even the person who plays them. When you're feeling very comfortable with an actor, you are doing nothing. I think we are realizing that governments can't govern us anymore. When you work in a different language you are not so attached to the words. Everything changes as you get older. Your mind, your body, the way you view the world. I do yoga every morning, then I run for half an hour and take a sauna. One thing I have clear is that I don't want to work for money anymore. Making movies is difficult and you get disorientated sometimes, even when you're working with fantastic talent. In Spain we have a saying about the essentials of life, good food, good wine good sex, good sleep. I've never liked watching real-life couples play couples on screen or on stage. It takes me out of the story. I don't want anything I don't deserve, but if they offer me more money, I'm not stupid. I don't think there is a guy that played more gay characters than I have done in my life. As an actor, when you encounter a psychopathic personality, you naturally want to make him bigger than life, as the Americans say.
I'm a complete hypochondriac. If my heart starts beating a little faster than normal, I think I'm having an attack. This girl said, yes, when I wasn't ready. I kissed her lightly and got so dizzy I had to sit down. There are some movies that I would like to forget for the rest of my life. But even those movies teach me things. I think the problems with being older come when your body cannot do what your mind wants. Then, Houston, we have a problem. I don't like to over-intellectualize scenes that are working. I tend to think when you do that you may lose it. Up until the time I was 31 years old, in Spain, I still didn't know how I was going to pay the rent. It's about paying attention to the little things, the details. Constantly rediscovering your partner, knowing there's a way out of any crisis. I always feel that art in general and acting in particular should make the audience a little uncomfortable, to slap them and wake them up. I am lucky, that is all. Lucky because there are a lot of people, producers, directors, people who buy tickets, who put confidence in me. You can change a person in their exterior aspects, but the soul remains, it still is there, and especially if that person has been changed involuntarily. It's a character that I always found really likable. I'm fond of Zorro because he was a popular figure who worked for the people. I think that comedy is one of the more serious things that you can do in our day, especially in the world that we're living in. I cry a lot, you know which is very difficult for a man to recognize, but I do. I cry in movies, you know, just watching movies. It was an honor and privilege to arrive to this country 16 years ago with almost no money in my pocket. A lot has happened since then. Hollywood is a very strong machine that needs an in. Especially with female actors, fresh flesh. It's that cruel, but that's the way it is. I often feel very guilty because of the time that I spend outside of my home and the little time that sometimes I have for my kids. You have to be in good shape, basically. And then, you have to have a certain craziness, if you're going to do some of the action things. I think I am good in the department of body language and fighting, and stuff like that. It's just natural to me, maybe because I love sports. Every time, I reaffirm in myself that the more comfortable you are, the less you are creating. You have to feel a little bit of pain in the creation. I'm in my 60s now, and just running almost 50 meters with explosives going on, it was kind of like, oh, my god. What am I doing here? I have a fantastic studio in my home, and it's my biggest toy. 
I have about a half a million dollars worth of musical equipment in my house. If they had offered me James Bond, first probably couldn't have gone to England anymore in my life. James Bond with an accent? That would have been something. I wake up every morning, look in the mirror and ask, am I a sex symbol? Then I go back to bed again. It's stupid to think that way. We are now integrated into American society and I don't like the word fashionable, because fashionable means that it's going to pass. It's not like that anymore. I think Shrek makes an effect in older people, and there are many things in the movie that you saw that are not for kids. Kids would not understand certain things. I did my first movie, The Mambo Kings, in America without speaking the language. I learned the lines phonetically. I had an interpreter actually just to understand directions from my director. A couple of years after I arrived in Hollywood, everything that was Latino was fashionable, and years after, my thought is that we're not fashionable anymore. We're here to stay. I wouldn't want my daughters to date a guy like me. I was dangerous around women in my twenties. I'm terrified that they might end up with someone like me.